So economics is all about scarcity and the idea that relative to the needs and wants of people, there are scarce or limited resources. In economics, these limited resources are referred to as the factors of production. There are four main factors of production in economics. Land, capital, labor, and entrepreneurship or enterprise. These are the scarce resources or the resources that are limited relative to people's needs and wants. They are also the resources that are used to help produce other goods and services and that's why they refer to as the factors of production. So let's have a look at land. Land basically refers to all the natural resources, all the gifts of nature um, that are used in the production process, whether it's agricultural, non-agricultural land, rivers, lakes, forests, oil reserves, any natural resource or all natural resources that are used in the production process. For its contribution in the production process, land as a factor of production is rewarded or paid an income that economists refer to as rent. It's very different to the concept of rent that we know in everyday life, which is the money that you pay for um, leasing or renting an apartment. Rent in economics is the income of land when it contributes to the production process. Now, let's take a look at capital. So, in the facts of production, capital refers to all man-made resources. These are the resources that are used to produce other goods and services. It refers to equipment, machinery, buildings, road systems, harbors, airports, electricity generators, um, any uh, man-made good that is used to produce other goods and services. Uh, there are four categories of capital. You have physical capital, financial capital, money uh, and stocks and bonds are an example of financial capital, human capital, that's the education and the skills of workers, and environmental capital, uh, good, um, a good air, clean uh, water, uh, biodiversity, all of this is environmental capital. Now, for its contribution to the production process, capital is rewarded, or the income of capital is referred to as interest. Next on our list is labor. Basically, labor refers to the human, mental, and physical effort that is exerted in the production process. Um, labor does not refer to the workers themselves. It refers to their mental and physical effort. Uh, labor's contribution to the production process is rewarded um, by the payment of wages. So the income received by labor for its contribution to the production process is referred to as wages. Last on our list is entrepreneurship. Basically, entrepreneurship is about management. It is the organizing and risk-taking factor of production. Someone needs to take the risk and organize the other three factors of production, combine them together into a business venture or into a productive economic activity. Uh, because entrepreneurship is all about organizing and risk-taking, the income or the reward that the entrepreneur receives is referred to as profits. It's very important to be able to distinguish between the four factors of production as well as their income or what their income is referred to in economics.